if any of you are ever playing Overwatch with me, and you hear, Yuji no Keoka, you better run. You'll see why at the end of the video. My warrior soul burns. For this damn figure, man. Let's get into it. Yo, what the heck is up? Animated Heroes here back with another action figure review. And this time it's of a figure I have been waiting for. For the longest, it seems like. Oh my god, this is one of my most anticipated figures of 2018. Honestly, I have been waiting on this figure for since it went up for pre-order like i am a big overwatch fan if you guys don't know you saw my play of the game come on are you kidding me this my favorite character i'm so freaking happy to have this guy if you saw my tracer review then you already know like i just i freaking love overwatch and I, I'm, I'm gonna stop but oh my god man i'm just so happy to have this guy so with that said let's go ahead and get into that sexy packaging so i can stop wasting time now, truthfully, I could fanboy all day, but I'm not going to do it. The sexy packaging is the normal standard box that we get with Figma and Good Smile Company. As you see, you got Max Factor at the top, Good Smile, Warning, Choking Hazard. Uh, around here, you don't really get anything. You got Figma, Overwatch, Figma 10, Blizzard, of course. Figma, Overwatch at the top, same stuff. Cool, badass image of Genji right there. Another badass image of Genji right there. On the other side, you got another badass image of Genji right there. And on the back, you got a whole bunch of badass images of Genji with the stuff that don't matter at the bottom. So, yes, yeah, sexy packaging. The colors aren't sexy, but because Genji is on it, it is sexy. Now, straight out of the packaging, I just got to say that, oh, my God. This figure is exactly why I love Figma so much. I know some people don't like Figma, but in my opinion, Figma is the best action figure company when it comes to making anime style figures because this, this is phenomenal. This is amazing. Just look at the detail. They got every bit of his suit down. The colors look amazing. The weapons look amazing. Paintwork always clean. Sculpt, there's that Genji butt for you, Jessica. Oh, man, just everything is awesome about this figure. He, my boy got the Nike track running shoes on. Even the sculpt on those are awesome. You got these little, I guess they call them the shocks in the back. I don't know, man. Just the color of the green that complements the suit. Every little thing. I know... I know what you're saying. Oh, you're fanboy and you like it. Shut up. This is just, this is awesome, man. I, oh my God. I, I'm, I'm in love. This, this probably already is my favorite figure. Now for you people who are saying, oh, it's not all that great. It, it looks okay. There is one gripe I have. So for you people who always want to look for the negative, there's one gripe I have. I'll talk about in a minute, but oh man, this, this is beautiful. This is this is awesome. Just, oh my God, this is it's sick. Okay, I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop. I'm going to put him back and catch a size real quick. My boy Genji stands literally right at six inches. So he definitely looks tall. I'm not sure if it's just because he's a lanky character, but he looks tall. And of course, we'll see how tall he is compared to other figures later, but... Let's get to the articulation. Here we are. He looks up about that much. Most of the looking up comes out of the neck, of course, which I think I still have some of the plastic in, if you guys can see that right here. Yeah, I don't have fingernails, so, oh, there we go. Got that out of there. But anyway, he looks up about that much. Perfectly fine for me. I'm fine with it. It's because this piece of the head right here connects to the back of the neck, so he can't really look up much more than that. He looks down almost completely using the neck, and it's not very far, but I mean, Genji has no reason to be looking down. Tilt about that much to that side, a little bit more, actually. If you use the neck, you can tilt it a little bit more, and of course, his head can turn all the way around. Now, his ponytail is on a ball. 
yeah it's on a ball peg in there so you can pretty much move that around however you want to i'm gonna have it up a lot especially from when he's doing his attacks so man that is awesome anyway he does have a diaphragm joint that works really good he can crunch forward but of course the armor kind of restricts it just a little bit but not much it works really well he can turn to the side of course at the diaphragm joint and he can turn at the waist he can also hunch forward at the waist for even more effectiveness now here's the part that i don't like and that's this piece right here it's something new that they've done you can move it around in there with this piece right here i'm not sure what that joint is called but it connects more to the front of the chest instead of the center of where his shoulder is and I don't like that simply because it kind of has a Revel Tech feel to me. If you do him in a, like a vanilla pose, you see the gapage for the most part on one side or another. Unless you turn this piece right here. But um, I don't know. I just don't like that. And it doesn't take away from the figure. Of course, he still gets a whole lot of range of movement out of it. As you guys can see, he can move his arm back really far. Move it really far forward. And you can damn near get crossed arms out of this guy like he can hit the wakanda pose no problem he does have a swivel in there of course and he also has a bicep swivel so yeah you get a double swivel out of that that is awesome his arms been just about that much so a little bit more than 90 degrees not all that much but hey that's perfect enough for me of course his hands are on the figma peg that's just what i call it and they're not very limited at all. You can move these around just about however you want to. Now, here's where he's limited a little bit, but I mean, they really couldn't help this. He kicks forward that much, and for this piece right here, that's phenomenal. I can't, I can't argue with that at all. I can't... That's not something that should be a gripe because this is a piece of his armor and it's a soft plastic so they worked well with that at all they could have made this hard plastic and it just not worked so i'm cool with that he doesn't really kick back at all that genji booty blocking it so that's not gonna work he can do the splits that much now you're kind of forcing it a little bit i don't know if this will i don't know if that'll bend or not i kind of feel like it will a little bit so i'm not gonna force it too much but who cares he does have a swivel in there of course and it looks like he has an extra swivel right here he does <laughs> he does have an extra swivel right there so that's even more dope i dig that. that that is awesome he does have a really good knee bend it's this figma peg once again i don't know what it's called but i mean it works and it's very effective so i'm cool with that foot goes down about that much he can get the stallion toe just a little bit back that much he does have really good ankle rocker as you guys can see it definitely works enough and for him being a ninja that's necessary and it's added and last but not least he has a good toe hinge so everything on this guy articulation wise works well for whatever you want to do with genji like it just it's there, man. Everything is there. And also, the legs are on a drop-down method, so you can pull them down a little bit. So, yeah, articulation-wise, I have no no gripes. Oh, yeah, and also, his second blade, of course, you can move that around as well. It goes up, it goes down, and it goes all the way around. So, yeah, and also, I forgot this one. So, I'm so excited for this figure. I'm forgetting stuff. But, yeah, of course, his regular blade can move up, down, and all around. So, this guy is articulation wise phenomenal now for those accessories let's go he comes with of course a pair of fist hands and i don't know if you want to count these as accessories or not but of course he comes with his blades which you can take out extremely easy they just peg in there a little bit you can take them out and also with this one let me see i don't know which way you take this out i haven't played with it I'll just pull. All right, it comes out on that end. So, yeah, you can pull both of these out, and, man, I'm just happy they did that. I think it was easier for them to make it to where you can just take these out instead of actually putting the blades in there because the blades are pretty slim, and I would hate to risk breaking one of those trying to put them in the sheath. So I'm definitely okay with that. Now, the Wakatashi is dope, man. I try not to fanboy but it's dope man look at that that blade look at that the detail and sculpt and paintwork spot on now if you think i'm fanboying about this wait until you see the dragon's blade oh bruh that is so sick man the 
the green it's just so fluid the way it goes from green to black and then or black to green rather then you got the sculpt work on these just uh you can even see the japanese symbols on there i don't know if you guys can see that i'm trying but like right here you can see the japanese symbols on there that is so sick man uh Ha! All right, for the hands, I don't even know why I started with the blades, but he comes with a hand for holding his shuriken. He doesn't come with two of these. He only comes with one because if you play as Genji, then you know he is right-handed. So it comes with that. And for the other hands, I'll just show them on this piece right here. You get two open palm hands, one jutsu hand, and if you got his signature stance unlocked, then you know what this hand is for. He comes with these slightly open pair of gripping hands, and these are for, I believe, the wakatashi. And then these right here, are for the actual sword i'm pretty sure that's what they're for i can guarantee almost and last but not least he comes with this now this is sick man the hand for throwing the the shuriken this is just so dope that translucent plastic they got in there how it fades from this clear color to this green the sculpt of the shuriken the hand itself sculpted well paint is clean on all of these man i could go on all day talking about this damn figure and you know what just because i can i'm about to add something in extra they even added blizzard right here on the figma stand like they didn't even have to do that and i know that's just something extra for me to say oh this is cool but you know what this is one of my favorite characters so i'm gonna brag on everything that i can now let's go ahead and get to some size comparisons now for some size comparisons, here he is standing next to a fully custom Super Saiyan 3 Goku with the Super Saiyan God head on it, or Super Saiyan Blue head rather, and of course the SH Figure Arts Super Saiyan Vegeta with the Scouter Vegeta head on it. And as you guys can see, he's taller than both of them. Next up here he is next to the SH Figure Arts 2.0 Sage Mode Naruto and my most favorite anime character ever, SH Figure Arts first release, Sasuke Uchiha. Here he is standing next to the marvel legends sasquatch wave deadpool which is my favorite marvel legends and a marvel legends loser now lastly of course here he is standing next to the one that matters the most the bay overwatch figma Teresa, my woman crush wednesday every day you seem nice i'd hate to kill you now if you don't know how i feel about this figure already then clearly you haven't even watched the other i don't know however long i've been talking because I've given this figure nothing but praise and that's exactly what it deserves because it looks like this guy came straight out of the game. Just period. 110% paint work. Amazing. Sculpt and detail. Amazing. Literally every element of Genji is here from the robotic suit to the weapons. Just it's, it's all there. All the way down to the shoes, man. They didn't miss a mark on this figure and even an added bonus the articulation is 100 percent amazing especially with what they had to go with this being a cyborg figure they could have slacked off in so many areas but they didn't they in my opinion went overboard and one thing i'm noticing right now there is a swivel right here in this piece so what that I could go on for days i'm telling you guys like this figure is so sick even if you aren't a fan of overwatch this is an amazing figure to have and if you aren't a fan of overwatch because you haven't played what are you doing bro hop on the game man this is like one of the top games right now everybody is playing and of course your boy is if you want to see one of my plays of the games make sure you stick around after the photos but that ain't what this review is about just pick up this figure. If you like Overwatch, there's no reason for you not to have it. If you like Overwatch and you collect figures, this this guy's a must. He goes for retail around 70 something, but hey, it's worth it, man. It's it's all there. It's definitely worth the money. And I'm pretty sure Tracer was about the same price as well. So go pick this guy up. I highly recommend it. I can't wait for more. That Reaper though, I'm definitely gonna pick that up. I already got a Widowmaker somewhere, but I'm going to pick her up in December too, but that Reaper though, I'm getting him too, especially after this guy, man. After, after getting this guy, everybody Overwatch they make, I'm going to pick up. I hope they make a Soldier 76. I hope they make Doomfist. I hope they make Lucio. Oh my, I know Mercy's coming. I know they're going to give us Mercy. They got to give us, I know they're going to give us May. 
they'll probably give us Diva out of the suit. I, I could go on. That's not what this review is about. But yes, Overwatch is awesome. Go play it if you haven't. If you collect Overwatch figures or you play Overwatch and you collect figures, go pick this figure up. Ain't no reason for you not to. That is my review. I'm done fanboying. Uh, I'm serious. I'm done fanboying. But, yeah, that's my review. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If so, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. That always helps me out. If you don't like the review, give it a thumbs up because it's Genji and you're watching for that reason. So, yeah, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Follow me on everything you see listed in the description below for more content. And, as always, I will talk to you guys later. So. Spirit first.